So, as always, I will be putting my site modeling Facebook page in the description box below, along with my Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. Please, 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 like my site modeling page. Add me on Snapchat. I talk to everyone as long as you are not creepy. I talk to everyone on Instagram. I, I usually follow people back on Instagram if they ask me to. Like I said, unless you're creepy, then I'm like, mm. But anyway, topic for today is friends you don't eat in your life. Now, when I say friends you don't eat in your life, I mean backstabbers, liars. I don't like saying this word, but I think it's really necessary. Hypocrites. And bitches and assholes. Just in general, bad, 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 bad people. You do not need them in your life. They are not worth the drama and they are not worth the bullshit. Um, I, I don't feel bad saying it. I've booted a couple people out of my life because of them being way too much drama than they were worth hanging out for. They, one of them was a very, very sweet person when I first met them and they had become very dark and unhappy and a very rude person due to drugs. So I booted that person out of my life. I do not really talk to that person anymore at all. Um, I, I don't feel bad saying it. I booted my mother out of my life because she just lies way too much. I I have enough going on in my life that I don't need that. And I'm sure that's how the rest of you are, is that you have too much going on in your life right now, and those people are just adding more drama and stress. You don't need that. Given I have a couple of friends that I should boot out of my life, but I haven't, because I honestly miss the relationship. So... This is how I feel. If you have a friend that you kind of question their motives, you kind of question why they're your friend, really think about it. Like, why are they your friend? Why did they choose you to be their friend? Is, their, is your friendship with them worth having? Um, but another thing I also have to say in this video is... If you have a friend that you booted out of your life for whatever reason, they apologize and they come back to you and they're like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I've changed. Accept their apology. Because you want to be civil towards them. You don't want to be a bitch. Unless they did something really bad, like got pregnant by your man or slept with your man. Then you have like a right to slap the bitch in the face. But... You know, if they didn't do anything too bad, and they're apologizing to you, saying they changed, accept their apology. Be civil. Don't, don't start drama or cause drama. But, at the same time, just because they're apologizing and saying they're changed doesn't mean they've changed and doesn't mean they are actually sorry. Because, the way I see it, the way the person was before, that's just who they are. And you cannot change how a person is. No matter how hard that person tries to change, nine times out of ten, they don't change. It's just how they are. Given they may change for a couple of months and be a different person, but they always resort back to their old ways. It's kind of like a Dalmatian. You can't change a Dalmatian spots. You can't change a person, you can't change a Dalmatian. So... Kind of just a rant video today because it's something that's always been on my mind is friends that I have in my life that I don't really need. They are too much stress, they have too much drama, they run their mouth too much. It's just too much. Too much stress and too much drama. But like I said, really think about the friendship before you end it. They're a bad person, yes, but maybe you can sit them down and be like, yo, yo bitch, you need change. You need to realize what you're doing is wrong, and maybe, just maybe, they'll be like, oh, yeah, they're right. But, like I said, really consider the friendship and think about it. Is it worth having? Are they worth being friends with? So, thank you for watching my video today. 
And also, I am doing a Q&A video, maybe next week. Maybe, possibly. Possibly. Possibly, yes, possibly. But, um, message me on Snapchat, Instagram, or my site modeling page, and ask me questions. I will answer all questions, regardless of how silly or awkward they may be. So, thank you for watching my video. Love you guys.